Well, hello everyone, it's me, Mary or Hawk. Welcome back to another video. I want to do a collective tarot reading for everyone today on June 2nd, 2024. And I wanted to give a disclaimer that I have new neighbors upstairs, so if you're pounding and screaming and stuff, that's just the kids upstairs, there's nothing I can do about it. And um, I would just like to let you know that this is a general reading. Um, obviously take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Not every message is intended for everyone. And um, if you have a question on your mind, just think of it now. And also know that uh, when it comes to this, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm using the White Newman, a sacred animal tarot, and I might go to my guidebook if I struggle to articulate things. Uh, because sometimes with my neurodivergencies, finding the right words, even if I know the meaning, in the context of what I'm picking up on can be hard to articulate. So um, sometimes looking at the guidebook, the words that I need to articulate pop out at me and it helps me give a more uh, better reading, if that makes sense. So with those disclaimers aside, about a minute in, I will get into the reading. So again, I'm going to ask the guides, deities, ancestors, and beings the best and highest good of the collective and my viewers um, come through through this reading and give them uh, some guidance in their area of life and help me to articulate what it is that they need to pick up on because I know sometimes we need a little guidance. So let's get into this. So we have an upright card here. So that would be, let's see, we have the Four of Wands, which means there are some special events that may be worth celebrating coming up. So there may be something to kind of like, that needs some um, celebration. They look a little um, concerned here, but usually the Four of Wands is like celebrating a special event or milestone. So there's some sort of milestone in your life. And perhaps within this milestone, you... Like, when it came to getting this milestone, maybe it's, like, a point of maturity. I'm seeing a point of maturity here because the Seven of Wands is kind of about standing up for your beliefs and being defensive on the defensive side of things. And if with the Four of Wands, I'm seeing that you may require some maturity about the situation or this is a milestone in terms of maturity that is worth celebrating. You leveled up in terms of your maturity and what it is you can handle. And we have the Black Newman, which in this card deck, the White Newman and Sacred Animal Tarot, there are two extra cards, the Black Newman and the White Newman. And the Black Newman typically just signifies destruction of some kind. So perhaps you need to, similar to the Tower in a sense, you need to destroy your previous conceived no notions about certain things. This kind of needs to transform and change and you kind of need to get rid of certain mindsets that aren't serving you. And perhaps this milestone here, the thing that is worth celebrating, this special event, is indicating that there's something in regards to, that causes a lot of conflict in your life that you need to let go of, that you need to let fall to the wayside, that you need to get rid of, and it is for your best and highest good, yeah. And it might be a pending loss that is happening. You might feel like you're in a bit of a void, but, um, you know, sometimes that is necessary for growth. And the next card is the Page of Cups, which is typically a indicator or messenger of sorts when it comes to, like, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to articulate it. I'm going to go to my guidebook, but uh, the Page of Cups, I typically, it's hard for me to articulate sometimes, but it's all about um, emotional intelligence. Yes, you want to be emotionally intelligent about the situation. Part of you wants to argue and fall into old patterns of behavior that do not serve you, but you need to get rid of that. We need to destroy that tendency, if you will. You need to get rid of it. You need to transform it. You need to get rid of it. And you need to be emotionally mature about the situation. And perhaps, again, like I was seeing earlier, this is a milestone in terms of your maturity and development as a person. And that is going to be something worth celebrating. And the next card we have is the Eight of Pentacles, which shows that this is going to be hard work and you're going to need to be patient, but you will prosper in the end. You will be prosperous if you put in that hard work, if you put in that patience, you put in that dedication, you continue to learn and hone your skills in this area of your life and you will do better. Uh, you will be prosperous in that regard. You will be, it'll be something to celebrate, that milestone, that, oh wow, I've really evolved as a person and as that's something worth celebrating. The next card is the Hierophant, which to me is usually a signifier of teachings, traditions, and things of that nature, and perhaps you need to learn some lessons. That's, that's what I'm seeing. You're going to need to learn some lessons, and the Hierophant is saying to really learn from your experiences, to learn from the teacher that is life, and learn the lessons that you need to do, learn so you can move forward as a person, so you can be emotionally mature and intelligent and level up as a person. And I'm going to see what's at the bottom of the deck, which I'm going to censor a little bit because there's YouTube, but they're uh, they're shirtless. But 
You know, the lovers is indicating to me that you're going to have to make some sort of decision. You're going to have to make an important decision. And this is all about choices in the matter. So this is all about choices. Um, the lovers is indicating that and what you're passionate about. Um, don't lose sight of what you're passionate about. And you're going to have to make some tough tough decisions that are important for your development as a person, if that makes sense. You're going to have to learn to be a bit more self-loving, perhaps, not be so confrontational all the time, not non-confrontational, but you're going to want to pick your battles wisely, and you're going to want to learn the lessons from this situation and perhaps get rid of the mindsets and attitudes and behaviors that no longer serve you. So I hope this made sense. Um, I, you can do this. I hope this was helpful. This is Hawk or Mary signing out. Uh, stay magical. And again, you are reaching an important milestone in your life that involves emotional maturity, but you have to be patient and learn the lessons and decide. Make the active choice to do better as a person, to maybe not get into so many petty conflicts or arguments, to let go of these patterns of behavior that no longer serve you, to not engage when people are trying to purposely poke the bear. That is something that is really important. I think that's what the universe is trying to get across. So again, I hope this made sense. Stay magical, and you've got this.